Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Ritz Toasted Chips. We have the cheddar and the veggie. These are the honey barbecue and the sweet habanero. Kevin's were new, so so we that's why we uh, saw the looked at these is because those were new. Uh, these were three dollars ninety two cents each at Walmart. They do have like a sour cream and onion as well, uh, but we had reviewed those. Yeah, it was a Years long ago. time ago. Yeah, it's been a long time ago. Because Kevin looked it up, we were in the store. We were trying to figure out what have we tried, what haven't we tried, and there might be other flavors, but I think four is enough for, for one video anyway. Uh, these are the ones we settled on, though. So, Ritz Toasted Chips Cheddar Variety. These are made by Nabisco. They have 40% less fat than the leading regular fried potato chip. But this looks like a cracker. Yeah, this looks like a cracker. So, I wonder why they're comparing them to potato so chip. chips. Yeah, that's true. So is it going to look like a chip or is it going to look like a cracker? I think it's square like a it says cheese it. Seven servings in the container, 13 chips, 31 grams is 150 calories. These are distributed by Mondelez. Um, okay, these toasted crunchy chips have 40% less fat per 31 gram serving than the leading regular fried potato chip. Good for any dip. So these, um, but the thing is, is these are made uh, mainly of flour. This isn't a potato chip. Yeah, it's mostly it's a, not it's potato. Like a cracker. Okay. Really cracker. Okay, so how do they get away with comparing them to a chip when it's not a chip, it's a cracker? You should compare yours to other crackers. Is They're it 40% they is it 40% less fat than a than a, a, a saltine? I think it'd be a you more, see what I'm saying? more of a cheesy comparison than a saltine comparison. Yeah, this is a cracker. You should be comparing them to better cheddars or something. I guess they're wanting you to switch from eating chips to eating meat. All right. I suppose. That's what it looks like. Check out Cheese Crispers. Delightfully thin and crispy bites. Oven baked with real delicious cheese. It reminds you of a slightly odd ribs. To me, it's the texture of an animal cracker. The flavor underneath there is like an animal cracker. Yes, that tastes like an animal cracker. If you eat an animal cracker, it's kind of got that weird flowery kind a of baking soda flavor. kind of flavor. Yes, those have that. That's what that has, and then you get a little bit of cheese on top of it. <laughs> if weird. you like animal crackers, I think you will like that. Yeah, cheese flavored animal cracker. At, our daughter would like these. Yeah. Uh, when we were over at her place just recently, she had a container full of animal crackers. Hmm. Plain. I never like I'm thinking who is buying plain and Ashley. Yeah. Um, that we, toddlers. We never bought those. <laughs> we never bought those growing up. Um, that tastes, to me, I don't think it has any cheese. No, I'd much rather really have a regular Ritz. Uh, with cheese than that. I'd rather have uh, Cheez-Its. Uh, yeah, or Cheez-Its or something. Yeah. yeah. Just, I don't like that underlying, that flowery kind of flavor. I don't like No, it, it, it truly does taste like an animal cracker, and I'm not getting the cheese. Did you say I did you get, get a little bit cheese? of cheese. Yeah. yeah, I don't get the cheese. It's, that, it's that typical powdered cheese kind of flavor. But it doesn't, it doesn't outshine the animal cracker flavor. The animal cracker flavor is 100% the strongest flavor. If I want, now this smells good. If I want cheese, I want I want like a cheese it or whatever. Yeah. Cheese it's cheese nips, whatever the one is that stayed around. One of them's gone. One of them still is solid. I'd rather have those. I'd rather have a better cheddar. I'd rather have There's anything over those. Yeah, I don't. Like I would never buy those again. Okay, these look good. These are neater in the bag. Uh, these are the veggies. These look like wheat. Uh, yeah, these say. Uh, they have 50% less fat. I love how they're calling them chips. And, and they're just not, they're crackers. Um, 14 chips, 30 grams is 130, crack, uh, 130 calories. That has a different texture. Whole grain wheat. Mm -hmm. Whole grain you can tell wheat the texture is completely different. Mm-hmm. Mm. Red bell pepper, green, dried green bell pepper. Um, Onion powder, garlic powder. You can taste all that. You can. It's 
That was not bad. They kind of remind me of dehydrated cabbage, tomato powder. Do you remember wheat thins? These aren't as hard as that, but they kind of remind me of the same flavor of a wheat thin. Oh, uh, see, I can't. I haven't had them in so long. I couldn't. Kind of reminds me of that flavor. Yeah, I like it. It's okay. It's not one I would eat. I, I tea. The aftertaste is very like a green, earthy kind of flavor. Yeah, but I'll. I, no, I'm not getting earthy. I'm getting like kale or no, I'm not getting spinach earthy like or that. something like that. It's at the end, it didn't come through the whole time I was eating it. Just For me, end. it's more of that bell pepper onion flavor. I I like these a lot. <coughs> um, for me, it tastes like you've already put the dip on it, and you yeah. don't need to add more dip. Now you could. Uh, but you don't either. It's not necessary. I think this has plenty of flavor without adding anything to it You could mm -hmm. eat these just plain. Yeah, it has plenty of flavor. The bad thing is for me Like I said, it kind of ends on an earthy kind of That still know. is a cracker. That's not a chip. No, it's definitely a cracker. Okay. None of these are going to be chips. Well, that's <coughs> False labeling huh? uh, well, Honey, look at them and tell it's a cracker. Well, I was thinking uh, well, because they compare, they're, they're, they call themselves chips. They compare themselves to chips. They're really trying to get you to think. Switch over oh, from chips to switch these. But it's not. It's a cracker. Why would you do that? Um, honey barbecue. 40% uh, less than the chips. Um, 13 chips, 31 grams is 150 calories. Now, these are going back to the full start out of <coughs> These are not resellable bikes, by the way. So you would have to put a chip clip on them. <laughs> kind of I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. A closed pen. Yeah, these look lighter. I like the coloring on them. Mm hmm. That's a little cracker. <laughs> yeah, you can even look at the side. Ooh, this right. one's advertising the sour cream and onion. Every one of them have, well, the first two. The first one and the last one do too. That has a, a really strong barbecue flavor. I like that a lot. This, mm -hmm. I used to, um, yeah, those are good. years ago, I'm going to go on a little story for one second. Years ago, they sold, uh, Nabisco had a whole section of the store of 100 calorie snack, bo mm -hmm. snack boxes. Yep. They were white boxes and they would say different things on them. They would say Chips Ahoy, they would say um, Ritz. Ritz, which is what I'm going to say. Um, I used to buy those bags of Ritz snacks. It was a multi pack of you would get a pretzel and you would get like, it's like a, a bar mix or something. Yeah, you like would get a, a, yeah, like a trail mix, but you didn't get peanuts in there. But it was like crackers pretzels, stuff like that in a hundred calorie bags. And I, I'm, I would still buy them today if they sold them. They were good. And that reminds me of one of those in that mix. One of the chips. And it's really good. Yeah, yeah it, it, it immediately took me back to when I was eating those hundred calorie snacks. Yeah. And it, I don't know why they quit selling those because they were awesome. Who quit buying them? <laughs> I didn't quit buying them. I never quit buying um, them. The, if only you carried the whole market. I know. <laughs> I know. If only it was all up to me. Uh, that has a really nice smoky barbecue flavor with a little sharpness there, like a little, mm -hmm. like a little bite to it. Not, not like bad bite. Just a little bit of um, something to like grab onto your tongue, and your taste buds. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like that. It, enough to make you want another one. Yeah, and it doesn't have that underlying like animal cracker flavor if it not does it gets covered up yeah it, it, yeah if, it, yeah it might but it gets covered up yeah those are nice those are very good and those are new <laughs> and it does have the texture of a red it, it's not hot so, no. yes it's not hot at all i don't think no no not at all it might have a little i mean you you might think it's hot if you're really sensitive to hot food or spicy you'd have to food, be but, really but really it's, really it's, sensitive yeah, it's now this one's probably gonna be hot <clears throat> this is sweet habanero At least they're opening without you tearing them all to pieces. Oh yeah, yeah. This it's a, it's a not it's a thick bag. So some of these like bags um, have gotten so thin that it rips down, that the, whole it rips down the whole side. The, I, I hate those. So this is a nice thickness. Um, this is the sweet habanero, thirteen chips, one hundred fifty calories. And this one has um, salt. Cayenne pepper, huh? 
It has some vinegar in there. It has cayenne pepper sauce. It has vinegar, garlic, tomato powder, onion powder, uh, vinegar, paprika, extract. The, I tell you the difference between this and a, a regular Ritz cracker is these are a little bit harder. Like a Ritz cracker is much softer. These are crunchier. Well, somebody had said in a comment, they think Ritz crackers have gotten thinner. So where they used to be thicker and great for dipping, they're not so great for dipping anymore because they are making them thinner. And yeah. these, um, <clears throat> or at least one of those, I think the first one said great for dipping. Yeah. Uh, the cheddar one said great for dipping. Um, that is is hot. Yeah, it's got some heat to it. Yes, it um, like my whole tongue is tingling it right now. It probably bothers you more than me. Habaneros don't bother me as much as Tammy's. Oh, so is your whole tongue not tingling it's at all? It's just very light. Okay. And I've eaten like two or three of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I could eat more, but my tongue would be numb. Yeah, see, hab see habaneros don't bother me. They bother Tammy. Uh, jalapenos bother me, and they don't bother Tammy. So mm -hmm. it's, 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 yeah. it's spicy. Yeah. Much. It's funny. Um, <laughs> um, I, I like the flavor of it. It's very strong vinegary kind of flavor, like a hot sauce. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yes, it's like... I mean, it's not all vinegar like a salt and vinegar chip, but it's definitely got vinegar on the back side of it. You can really taste it. It is amazing, though, because um, it feels like I took that whole cracker and just laid it on my tongue, and it, like... <laughs> because <laughs> that's what it feels like right now. You know, when you put a piece of meat, a hamburger on the... Uh, on the stove it's, and your tongue. it's sizzling that's what my tongue feels like <laughs> um and i get a little heat but I, I, for sure i do but get there is a sweetness to it yeah, as well yeah. so it's, it's su surprising that it still has that mm -hmm. but it does have a nice flavor as well yeah, yeah they didn't just go hot to be hot i would I'm not alive. get them because it's too hot for me i wouldn't to get them enjoy. either i would want it i don't generally like like a hot sauce kind of flavor on a chip so uh -huh. i wouldn't get them either but but they're good i like them right. if they cut the heat down just a little bit you probably would have said you would have liked them Okay. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So out of these four, we can't compare them to other ones that are on the market. We can only tell you what we think. Uh, if you can, <clears throat> there's only one of these four out actually about. Really, it's going to be the barbecue. Yeah. Thing. Okay. Yeah, because I, I really don't like the garden ones because they really had an earthy aftertaste. See, I didn't get that earthy aftertaste at all. So for me, I would get either the barbecue or the veggie. I like right. either one of those. I would get either one of the new ones. Either one of the new ones. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, but notice neither, neither, neither one, one of us going to pick the, the animal crackers. <laughs> yeah, we're not picking. If I want animal crackers, I'll just go buy me some animal. I guess if you wanted to dip them, you could. But there's other options to dip things. Yeah, if buy you're something a, else. If you're going to dip, I'd rather dip a yeah. potato chip or something like that than these. I wouldn't dip. I don't generally dip there's crackers. There's too many cheese crackers on the market. Why would you buy these? Yeah, they, these I, are I don't get it. Right? These are not necessary. I don't even know why these exist. <laughs> there and they don't taste like cheddar. No. I'm just thinking if I'm going to dip a chip, well, I mean not a chip, but a cracker like these are, I, I don't dip crackers. I usually take a cracker and put cheese spread on them I know. with a knife, uh -huh. and I wouldn't want to do that to any of these. Um, I wouldn't either. I'm going to eat these plain. Yeah. These are things that I'm going to eat plain, and they, they have enough flavor to where you wouldn't want to do that. No, I can't imagine dipping either one of those. No, actually. but these don't say a dip. Uh, I know. dip. This oh. one does. Yeah, only those say dip, great for oh, dip. So the new ones don't the say. The new great ones don't say. I don't think they did. No, the new ones don't say great for dip. That's because they don't need it. Because you, you don't need it. You don't need it. Honestly, the veggie doesn't need it either. No, so but I could see adding a little cream, you, uh, some kind of sour cream you style. Could, yeah. yeah, but it's really not necessary. Yeah. So you'll have to let us know which one is your favorite and if you're going to give these a try. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.